Welcome back everybody. Today we are playing as Raven Man. No, we're, we're actually playing as Sailor Mars in Yusin Secret? I don't know. Underground Secret? I don't know, some sort of factory. Anyways, this is Sailor Mars. She is mostly legwork, as you can see th from her nice shapely thighs. She's mostly a kicker. And let's see. See, I thought her hand was weird when you do the down punch. It looked like her hand's distorted, but she's actually got like I guess a, a spirit ward thing or whatever the hell they call it. She does a spin kick in the air, and she has those more of those tassel, those Buddhist things or whatever the hell they're called. Talisman. I don't know. She has a punch to the face, or slap to the face, or whatever you want to call it, as well as uh, she does one of the moves I wouldn't mind her, her uh, doing to me if you throw somebody. Yeah, she just puts their head between her legs and just whips them. Damn, I wouldn't mind doing that. I believe her name is Ray, Re, Rini, Ray, I think it's Ray, and she is some sort of priestess, or studying to become a priestess, I remember that much. Stop punching me, damn it. She was also she was a lot like Raph if I Raphael from Ninja Turtles, I believe. I think she was very sarcastic and kinda of mean. If I remember correctly. She's got nice little red high heels on. Stop hitting me, damn it. I also don't think she really paid that much attention to men. I don't think she had any man problems like the others did. Ooh, generic cola. Or at least she hit it, if I remember. I know she had a boyfriend of some sorts. Get away from me, mannequin man! It's mannequin man. One of the failed robots by Dr. Wily. Ah. So if you hold the punch button, you'll charge up your special beam attack, and that's what it will do. You can't move when doing it, so you have to basically hope that the enemy walks in front of you when you do those. Also, that skirt is still way too, way too low. She's kicked. She doesn't really use her hands that much. Is he still alive? I'm just gonna kick like, like this. If you run into me, it's your own fault. Oh, that's an interesting little one. This one where I'm just gonna sit on this conveyor and keep kicking, and if you get hit, well, it's definitely your own fault. Yeah, that special move would be draining health if uh, I weren't being cheap as hell. Uh -huh. kick, 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 kick. Slap, bitch slap, bitch slap. Ooh. Damn it. The controls are kind of they're not as uh, smooth as Final Fight 3 or Ninja Turtles 4 is. They're a little a little stiff, I find, and they're fairly laggy. But I mean, it, it's oddly enough, this action is actually faster than the Sega version. The Sega version, the action's really really slow in it. I think it's completely identical, it's just different graphics. I think all the moves are the same and the story is the same. The levels also change too. It's not like today's ports where today's ports are all, all look the same. When they port a game it looks the exact same. Just a different 
you know, either graphics or texture processing, but that's about it. Stop touching me there. I think Gray and Venus were also the most busty, weren't they? Or Mars and Venus were the most busty of the two. Well, I think Venus dressed a little more skankily, but whatever. Haha. Uh, -ha. See, would that not be awesome? Kick you in the face. Get out of my way. Yeah, no, they did, they did really good on the animations and everything like that. It's just really choppy. Which I guess can be understand because they put a lot of work into the the character sprites. But the movement's more like an NES game than an SNES game. It's like they're missing that transition sprite. Out of my way, ugly ass man with an ascot. Cause you're ascot laid, bitch. <laughs> you done here? Oh, come on, seriously. I don't know. I guess it could be a cape, but it looks like an ascot to me. Scary, freaky, yellow, devil-dyed people. Get away from me. That was awesome. I have to expect a shoe to fly off. They never knew this, but they actually made a live action Sailor Moon. <laughs> Although I guess it is it is pretty popular in Japan, I guess. I guess like Dragon Ball is one of the defining animes. I can't go, it's automatic. I'm on a freaking elevator. Holy cow. Ooh, look, a cartridge. I don't know what that is supposed to be, but it gives you an extra life. Oh god, a Sailor Moon! It's evil Sailor Moon! Oh. Aha! Spin kick in the air for the win! Stop jumping, you stupid bitch! Looking real smug in her portrait there. Yeah, you also notice that the portrait, uh, they did little animations with the portraits when they get hurt and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stupid special bar takes way too long to load up. It's a useful technique if you can get like a bunch of groups of enemies on the other side of the screen so you have time to charge it up, but other than that it's kinda of pointless. Yeah, chop it up, kick to the face. Oh I think she also knew karate too, didn't she? Or judo, I think judo, I think she was good at judo. I don't know, she's good at something. She was a monk, that's all I remember. A priestess. Aha, kick you in the face. And again! Yeah, the engine is almost exactly like uh, the first Final Fight game. Except we can keep getting your ass kicked. There's the trick, just stand here and just... 
Oh, one more. Ah, I put a Kama Sutra on you. Damn it. Whatever you call those things. See, by the time you jump to somebody, you can't jump. That's the problem is you can't jump up and, like, you can't move your character up or down when you're jumping. You know, kick her in the face. Ah, it turns out to be some woman from the Death Star. I think it was a woman, I don't know. Anyways, there we go, there's Tuxedo Mask doing what he does best, absolutely nothing. And we're done. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.